hi everyone so in this video we will see like how we can do operation in vi editor the operation like copy paste and change so first of all let me give you some terms like so uh, in vi editor uh, the term for copy is yunk means uh, like uh, in windows if you want to copy anything we simply uh, say like uh, copy but in vi editor the term is different for copy uh, it is known as yunk in the vi editor world and uh, rest was same like if you want to delete that is the word for that is delete and uh, if you want to change anything then word is also change the difference is only in the copy word so if you want to copy anything in vi editor then you use a keyword y and in case of change we use c and in case of delete we use d now how to use all these things i will show you practically that part like uh, if you want to copy a word a letter a line a paragraph so i will show you all these things so this was the basic terms which i just want to give you now we will start our practical work so let me choose the file vi file one so here is some content is there okay right so let me take first task as i just want to copy this line this whole line oh not this one what happened just wait okay so i just want to choose oh sorry i just want to copy or yank this file this line okay so how i can achieve that thing for that i have to press y y y y and to paste i have to press p but where you want to paste so if you want to paste like uh, you can see my current cursor position is on r if you want to paste anything before r then you have to press capital p if you want to paste after r then you have to press small p so i am pressing small p here so you can see that the line is copied and here i just press p and it is pasted here so let me write this in notepad what i did why why what this will do this will select whole line the line on which your cursor is it will select that line okay and to paste we simply write we simply press p small p is just for after the cursor position and capital p is before the cursor position right so what if i just want to copy only single word if i want for example in my case i just want to copy demo so how i, how I can achieve that part so first i have to take my cursor position to d then i have to press y y is common first letter y is common y means yank and then my task is to copy word for word i have to press w y w now i just want to paste it after the r so i press small p so here you can see demo is pasted here let me write that part also what i use y w for word but what uh, like uh, if my cursor position is on h in this case it will not uh, i just take demo so i will take my cursor on e so what happened in this case if i press y w it will not select whole word like demo it will select only e m o it will not select the previous word uh, previous letter that is d 
so let me show you that thing also i am pressing y then w now let me paste it here p you can see it select only emo from the current cursor position it will select after that part okay now if you want to copy only single letter for example v i i just want to copy only v so for that you have to press y and for the letter l means y l now i just want to paste it so p so you can see that like in this way you can copy a single letter also so y l for letter so this was the thing so i show you like how you can copy the whole line how you can copy a word how you can copy a single letter so if you want to delete a line so how you can do that let us suppose i want to do i want to delete this line so for that you have to press d and again d for whole line let me show you here i am pressing d d two times d and d d d so you can see that the line on in which my cursor is present dd will delete that line okay so let me write that part also dd will delete line now like uh, if you want to undo anything in vi editor then you have to press u so first of all you have to notice that i am doing all these things in the command mode you can't do all these thing in insert mode you have to perform all these thing in command mode right that's why it is known as command because we are just performing the operation using key combination or we can do some other things using command right so here i am pressing u and u will undo the things so if you want to redo for that part you have to press control r so you can see now i am again doing undo okay so that was the thing also so i now what i want to do now i just want to delete the word this for that i have to press d and for word w d w you can see this is this word is deleted from here and now i am doing undo again you can see this is here now i just want to delete only single word so i just want to delete this word d word i want to delete letter of word demo so for that i have to press d l and it will delete the letter on which cursor is set or cursor is currently pointing it will delete that letter right so this was the thing so if you want to change anything for example i just want to change editor i don't want this word here so for that how i can do c w so first let me right here d w delete word and d l means delete letter now i just want to change this word so for that i have to press c w you can see editor has been removed from here and here you can see we are in insert mode why insert mode because we want to change like if you remove something then we have to write something in place of them because we choose change so here i just want to write tool it i can write it manually okay now i am pressing again to go out from insert mode so if i want to change the whole line for that i have to press cc 
now it will just remove all the line and here i can write anything for example line 2 right and uh, one more thing is if i want to change a single letter for that i know uh, you know like uh, c l so line 2 i am i just want to change 2 so i am pressing c l you can see here i am uh, here i am mentioned 3 so here i write 3 okay so you can see that here we just perform operation using some key combinations so let me write here cc for change line cw for change word and cl for change letter okay. so till then you have to practice this thing and then we will do some more advanced thing in vi editor so that's all for this video bye bye